Now, as we are going through the different tools um, within ARCHICAD, um, I just randomly pick a house that we are going to recreate both the plans and the 3D of it. So throughout the different videos that are coming up, um, we'll be focusing on that house. It's called House in Cenkla in Austria uh, by Austrian architects. So it's a very typical Alpine kind of architecture. And it's quite similar to um, the kind of building techniques and strategies that will be used here in New Zealand as well. So I think it might be a good good example to follow along. So I've copied in um, the ground plan here. Um, it's just simply a PDF, or a J I think it was a JPEG that was available from the architect's website. And I'll briefly show you how to do that. Over here, there's a tool called Drawing Tools. You can just click on that and your cursor kind of turns into that crosshatch type of um, symbol and you can just click anywhere in the, on the screen. I'm not going to do that now because it'll pop up all my windows. I want to avoid that for now. And then you can select um, a path from your computer, uh, choose the file that you want and it'll upload that one, that specific drawing. Um, these kind of drawings, as you can see, they have a, a type of frame around them and you can ma manipulate that frame in the same way as you would do with like um, area surfaces that you have drawn. So what you will see um, with all tools that you're using within ARCHICAD that you, when you hover along a line you'll get that kind of cursor with a little um, triangular thingy attached to it so you can drag, you can point on there um, and you can see there's a, there's a little window that's popping up and have a look at these different options, click through them, see what happens, you know, you can manipulate that shape, you can make archers out of it, you can, it's a different kind of drawing method, you can extend all sides equally or you can just extend one side, whatever you need, all these sort of things, um, these tools of m manipulating and, and um, changing a shape. Have a play around with those and there's actually there's usually this different selection tools when you click on one of the points as you can see that kind of tool is changing that toolbox some of them are the same like that extending extending the area out um, to the outside others um, are different so yeah have a look at them the most easiest easiest to just play around now that we have up or, or imported that JPEG um, of course we want to make sure that it's the right scale um, unfortunately that specific plan doesn't have any measurements or anything so we are just guessing the measurements on here which is precise enough for what we are doing and usually stairs are a really good um, point of reference, doorways uh, might even be chairs or anything um, I'm actually choosing the kitchen um, because normally these type of elements in a standardized kitchen they are roughly 60 centimeters um, so what I'm going to do now since we know that that line is supposed to be 60 centimeters um, and I'm drawing in centimeters keep that in mind if you're not sure what kind of setup that you have please go back to one of my earlier videos to have a look on how to set up your documents and how to change these settings. So what I'm going to do is I just click on that um, click on that image and then you can go to edit um, let me see edit reshape and there's a, an option that's called resize that's for myself that's the shortcut command K so have a look of what's attributed for you here. I'm going to use the shortcut now, Command K, and what pops up is that resize window. So you have two choices. Choices. You can either change or resize that drawing graphically, and if you un, uh, untick that box, you have the option to either do that by a defined scale or in terms of percentage. So of course if I want to double the size, I would pop in 200, 200% of what the image used to be and you also have some options down here what you want to affect in that resizing action that you are going to do. 
um, you know, might be, depending on what you're doing, if you have multiple things selected and there's text boxes or anything involved in that, you might not want to scale up the text because all of a sudden your font size and all that changes. So that might be important for you to change that. But of course, with that, um, that moment here, we don't have any other tools. So if, you, if you're happy with 200% or whatever it is, you just click OK and then press um, somewhere into the canvas uh, and from that point where you press on it will extend outwards. So if I'm choosing that um, uh, corner here on the bottom that corner will be locked in and everything else will extend um, to the other side. If that is crucial for you otherwise you can just click anywhere that you want. Now of course those 200% that's just a, a weird number, a random number that we did to, to check it out. You can either go Control C, and we can we can do it properly. Again, we know that that line is roughly 60 centimeters. So what we're going to do, Command K, and we define graphically. Okay, and now you can uh, choose a point of reference. So let's say that first that outer point of that cupboard. We click here. We can draw a line to the end of that cupboard. Click again and now we have the chance to manipulate that length and define what that length is supposed to be. And as you can see there's a small window popping up saying distance and angle. Now for the distance we can just click the tab button or I think the, the letter R should work as well. And now we can type in, manually type in the distance that we, are that we want. So we want to have 60 centimeters, 60 and press enter, bang. There it goes. So it will automatically um, resize, even if it's not a if it's not an image, it could be any type of elements or tools that you are choosing, and you can resize it to that um, value that you are assigning. There's also um, up here there's a, a tool in the middle of, of that navigation bar bar. It's called Measure, and it Mine has the shortcut M, obviously M for measuring. So you can press M and you can start measuring things on here as well. So that one is now 3.8 meters, 388 centimeters. So that, that sounds about right. You can also measure if you click multiple times, you can actually also measure distant uh, areas, I must say. So that would be 0 0.02. Um, should be square meters probably yeah it's not quite set up properly here but um, yeah I usually only use the measuring tool once in a while and it'll come in handy so you can see that one is um, I'll do that again the length would be 390 so that's um, 3 meters and 90 centimeters if I click and I can measure another length 60 centimeters sounds about right we can double check the chairs should be around 45 yes they are so that seems I th seems like I got the scale right here the stairs again a really good reference point as well one meter a bit more than one meter 1.5 that sounds very reasonable for a stair that you would find in a single family house such as this one so yes very very helpful um, Command K, I use that very often for, for lots of different tools. And then of course before we are starting to draw any any walls and any everything, and I think I've mentioned that before, um, having to draw that in that weird kind of angle is, is a bit annoying. So what I'm now going to do is to also set up um, the orientation of my canvas. So I've drawn a little north point over here because um, that's really important to have in architecture so that you always know um, what side is north from what side the sun is coming in so I would really um, recommend having that kind of north point somewhere close to your ground plan where you are going to work and now again down here on the bottom it says 0, 0.00 degrees that's your orientation you can just click on that um, on that box and either you, you might have already played around with it and you have some settings that you um, that are crucial for that document 
but other than that you can just go to set orientation graphically and it is a kind of a similar process as we've just seen before so you can now click on one of the corners of that building um, extend that line to another corner click again and then the whole thing the whole canvas is going to move now important thing you can now you can see there's a, a, a weird angle you could either click the tab key again and input the value here or you can use shift and as you can see regardless or no matter where that I move my cursor to it will lock to one of these um, predefined angles that would be like 45 degrees or 90 degrees so that's what we want of course we want to have it set up in a in a straight line so you just click again and there it is and you can see down here it has now changed to 298.82 degrees a weird angle but that's perfectly fine um, that's what how the the ground plan was designed for so yes now we can get started and we will draw we will start drawing the outlines and the walls we shall do that in the next video and see you there